Hi Leo, welcome to your Oracle of Love for singles who's coming towards you general tarot reading. This is for those that would like to have a look and see if romance is on the card. There will be an extended version of this reading where I will be delving into this person's past relationship, why their past relationship failed, what went wrong and what they're looking for this time round, as well as how your relationship will be together when you come together um, into a partnership and how you'll feel towards each other. If you'd like a private Oracle of Love reading, my email is listed below this video in the show more section, along with the link for the extended reading. Otherwise, we'll get straight into it, Leo. Thank you for joining me, for viewing, liking, sharing, subscribing, and continuing to support my channel. I really do appreciate it. I can't thank you enough for all that you do, so thanks for doing that. So Leo, singles, Oracle of Love, who's coming towards you? Okay, the Hermit. This is a strong Virgo that's coming in here with the Hermit card. This is someone I feel has been single for quite some time. This is a figure of solitude. It could be someone more quiet, more reserved and a little bit more reflective. They could be highly spiritual with the Hermit card here. They might have their own business or they might like solitude or autonomy around them. They might be in a very autonomous role where they work on their own for extended periods of time without support without much contact with other colleagues they could also have their own business with the hermit card as well i feel like they're um they're retracting from going out from being social from getting out and about with the hermit card it could be because of their past relationship maybe but i think right now this energy that's coming in around them it, they could be a strong virgo yes um, they could be quite analytical perfectionists um, reflect and analyze and decipher and break down a lot of what they see, a lot of what people do. So they're quite this um, analytical figure that's coming in here with the Hermit card. They could be someone older, uh, more mature, more learned, learned from life, have been through a lot, have seen a lot. With the Hermit card, they're, they're quite wise, I think. They're quite intro, um, introspective, I feel, in that regard, which is good. They're quite insightful, someone that considers a lot of things before making a decision. Okay, the nine. So you've got two nines here. So I feel like they are... They are quite alert, Maybe they've been hurt in their recent past with the Nine of Wands. Maybe they like to protect their ego. They like to protect themselves, their higher self from people. I don't think they, they let people in quite easily, Leo. I think it takes them a bit of time to get to know someone and let them in completely with the Nine of Wands. Um, again, this anxious energy, which I think they have, and it might make sense if they are a Virgo. They're quite particular about a lot of things, but it's almost like they're standing guard protecting something. So this could be protecting their heart. This could be protecting their work. Um, if they are quite creative and they do have their own business, then they're definitely going through a period where they're protecting the, the rights of their business, um, copyright, patent issues, protecting their ideas or their life's work. With the Nine of Wands. Um, again, could be insecurity um, because the Hermit is seen, was seen as the gatekeeper of a town. So it's almost like maybe they hold the key to something or they stand guard over something for work. Or maybe they're in that sort of industry where they stand guard over people's work or perhaps represent people's work. This is fire energy though, Aries, Sagittarius or Leo with the wands. <clears throat> okay, the page of wands, they're quite passionate. Uh, they're coming in soon. So if not September, definitely in the months leading up to September, I feel like you'll hear from this person um, with the page of wands. This is a message coming in from them. A mess, it's a flirtatious message. 
It could be someone you haven't noticed before because they might have been a recluse or they might have been away from work. It could be through work um, or it could be in a social circle. It's someone that's sort of finishing up a breakup or just coming to join the crowd again type thing. But this person is sending messages. The Page of Wands is a message of love, of action, commitment, of passion. Um, they, they could be quite flirtatious and quite forward um, and they're quite passionate in what they do. So I wouldn't be surprised if they have some sort of creative ability or some sort of idea that they're funding or bringing to fruition because they're very passionate. The Page of Wands is all about passion. Strong fire energy here along with the Virgo. But there's messages. So you may initiate contact this way or they may initiate contact um, this way. It could also be something to do with movement, a trip, a holiday. So for some of you, um, a trip to a coastal town, a day trip away, or this person in your city, state or country, might this, is, this might be how you meet. You might come together this way. <clears throat> they might even ask you to go on a holiday with them. Or uh, maybe they have a business trip or a, a business funded expense and they, they want to take you with them. Six of Wands. I feel like the fire sign is getting a lot of credit. Aries, Sagittarius or another Leo. Look at this. This is really, this is success. This is victory. This person is quite successful. Or maybe they're going through this stage trying to build an empire, trying to get promoted at work or fund a business idea but this person will be very very successful on their own there's something that they have for them here um, career wise I think they are very successful because they're quite passionate and because they're quite um, methodical they're quite calculative um, which is good which works for them but there's a lot of success around them and you'll definitely see them as someone successful They could have a team that reports to them, yes, but they're definitely a leader. They have this leadership quality about them, with which I think you'll admire, Leo. And it could even be that they put you on a pedestal because you are fire. So if it's a, it's a Virgo, maybe this person is will be putting you on a pedestal, Leo, and admiring you. But a lot of success here. Um, we can see this sort, sort of what looks like a Romanesque um, wreath of victory. And then we have the page of ones. We can see this very hot, dry, arid desert background here. This person could be, um, could have heritage or could have links to maybe Italy, maybe to parts of the Middle East, North Africa, um, the Mediterranean, so this person's heritage could stem from one of those regions, possibly, yes. Or they might work for someone who is of this nationality, which you may find out later. But I love the Six of Wands. There's a lot of success for this person. Um, I think they're coming out of something. With the Hermit card, it's almost like they're transitioning from the Hermit to the Six of Wands. So there's some sort of breakthrough that's happening around them, whether it's in their career, their personal life their professional life, um, but it's definitely some sort of shift that's taking place here, but it's almost like it will pay off and it's a good thing it's happening for them. So that's very good. They do have a lot of, possibly a lot of wealth and movement around them. There's a lot of growth. They might, but I feel like these two cards contradict each other because here I feel like they might go through phases where they're down or protective or defensive, but then other times they just shine really brightly. So it could be sort of this Virgo energy. Um, there could be a bit of duality here. Okay, the High Priestess. This is a prophecy here. I think this person is undergoing major changes in their life. There's some life-altering things happening for this person right now. The High Priestess does deliver life-transforming news. She delivers a prophecy. She delivers something that is cemented in our lives. 
there's something big happening for this person. Again, it could be business related. It could be a major contract that they're holding in their hands here um, that's going to prove very, very lucrative. We do have pomegranates behind her. So this is um, representative of fertility, fecundity, new ideas, planting a seed, something new. Um, whether it's they work for children, write children's books, um, or maybe they have a major contract, or maybe they're, they're undergoing spiritual enlightenment currently. But there's major changes that are happening within them and it'll balance them out. We see the black and the white and it just looks... It looks there's like there's big things that this person is destined for big things here. <clears throat> very, very spiritual here. Or it's almost like they're stepping into this metaphysical, esoteric arts type thing. This could even be the business that they do. They might even be a tarot reader. They might work with crystals. They could work in very creative pursuits. There could be also children around them somehow with the high priestess because she's seen as someone fertile. So, or it's possible that you might be having a child. You might fall pregnant or you might... Um, get someone pregnant with this person that's coming in potentially there's pregnancy on the cards very soon for this person sooner rather than later okay ace of pentacles this is beautiful this is earth energy but this we can see the sun's rays, what looks like a pentacle, but it's showering abundance. So there's a new opportunity coming in for this person. I think there's wealth, um, wealth around them or in their future. They're going to be very, very successful. Could also be this Virgo energy. But it's blessings of money. It's success and new opportunities. So I think career-wise, professionally, they're doing exceptionally well around the time that you meet them. And they're really embracing everything that the universe is, is giving them, is throwing out to them. Okay, the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands very, is very similar to the Six of Wands here. So it is about conquest. Um, it is about success. It's about dominion, power, and victory. It could be them trying to pursue you and they feel like they've fulfilled a conquest. It might be that they will pursue you for quite some time before you open up, Leo, and they have this energy where they feel like they've been successful at gaining your attention because it's success with ones and you are fire, Leo. So it could definitely be you. They could be quite persistent in that sense, um, chasing you wanting to pursue you for a relationship or for something and it's almost like it might happen very very slowly there is constant messages I feel like there'll be a constant figure in your life coming up in the next few months for some of you and then it's almost like when you come into a relationship together it could be that the high priestess says that's this transforming life transforming thing here it also speaks of a lot of success. Um, they're going to dominate in their field, whether it's in their business or their type of work, their line of industry. There's victory here. They're very much career-based, I see. Okay, the star card. It could be an Aquarius as well. This is fame, fortune, beautiful things being written in the stars for this person. I think they're ready for a relationship, to be honest, because their career... Um, if it's not happening right now, it will around the time that you meet or just after you meet, you will find that they're just so successful. They could be in advertising, um, in production. You know, they could be very much involved into astrology. You know, maybe they're a research scientist for NASA or something because we do have the cosmos here. So maybe they're... Um, an astrophysicist of some kind or they like to study the cosmos or maybe they have a telescope at home but there's um a fascination here with the stars whether that's celebrities maybe they're you know paparazzi or something there's fascination with stars potentially <clears throat> but it's almost like this this 
they're really dominating, which is good. Uh, they're really dominating their life. So I think there's definitely a shift taking place with the hermit here. And I think they're slowly transitioning. And around the time that you meet, there'll be this person where they're, they're just, you'll be so amazed at how accomplished they are and how much they have accomplished in, in a short amount of time. Okay, judgment. Judgment could indicate this person deals with contracts, um, reviews. Reviews people makes judgment on things, so it does indicate they're in a position of influence. Um, they're able to make very important judgment calls. Judgment calls on conquest. Um, judgment calls where people follow judgment calls that have the power to change a lot with the high priestess here so i feel they're very influential their line of work is potentially very influential um as well they could be a little bit self-critical of themselves though with the judgment card this would make sense if they're a virgo they do tend to be very self-critical um or there could be this Aquarius maybe or a fellow fire sign. But the judgment card says that um, maybe they're quite opinionated and they have an opinion on a lot of things. Very much so about themselves and what it is they're doing. I think it fuels them in a way to do better in relationships, in career, in business with the judgment card. But they hold true to their values, I feel. <clears throat> okay, last card. Beautiful, the two of wands. For some of you, there's definitely a destined, um, with the star card here, this does speak about destiny and fate and wonderful things coming in. There's definitely a beautiful, long-lasting union here made up of the two of wands, so two fire sides coming together. This is also choice options and collaborations but i love that they're the royal um regalia is is together he crossed over very nicely and with the eye again it almost feels like someone this person might have had their eye on you for quite some time and it's a conquest it's sort of like they've been chasing you for quite some time it could be vice versa as well leo you might have been chasing this person but i think it's more so that they will be interested in you and pursuing you and um trying to woo you trying to charm you it could be that this person also has two income streams or there's possibility that there's two different people coming in around this time for you leo an aquarius virgo and a fire sign aries sagittarius or a fellow leo that's coming in that's vying for your attention but one is definitely destined to be um, in your path here we have the star card sitting pretty in the middle here um, so that's really I think you'll notice which one this person is I think you'll know you'll see this major transition from them coming from maybe a sheltered a sheltered lifestyle and all of a sudden they're just they've just flowered into someone really accomplished and successful and ambitious and I think you'll see this and you'll know this person is for you you'll see these characteristics in this person but look, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I will be continuing on with your extended reading on, Vim on my Vimeo channel. The link to that will be provided below in the show more section. So I hope this has been enjoyable for you. For those that were after a private reading, please feel free to email me. Otherwise, all the best, Leo, and we'll chat soon. Thanks again for watching.